What's going on today, Internet? I am Mr. Selfish. This right here, this right here, the show that you're watching right now is Batteries Not Included. This is not a f***ing kid's show. But kids, if you want to learn about technology, just cover your ears during the adult parts. So you want to know what it's like To live like a man You're in love It's selfish, yeah Batteries Not Included. First thing we're going to talk about today is Netflix is actually taking over your cable bill. Not really your cable bill, it's actually taking money away from the cable companies. Cable companies are complaining right now, actually they're not complaining at all, I don't know, I just made that up. Cable companies are actually saying that Netflix isn't affecting them, but a recent survey just showed that 50% of cable subscribers have subscribed to premium channels, like your HBOs, your Showtimes, your Stars. They are actually cutting part of their cable bill in order to use Netflix because, you know, HBO, you got to watch the movies when the movies are on, even with HBO on demand. You're still kind of limited to what you want to watch, but Netflix actually offers what you want to watch when you want to watch it. So it's actually taking away from that. Who would have thought something like that would happen? For $9 a month, you can watch whatever you want, or you can pay $50 a month to watch the shit that we tell you to. Duh. Shockwave. There's a hotel that's doing Google right now over the autocomplete results. You know, like when you type something in and it tells you what you want it to do. Google's actually getting kind of cocky with this. I type in one letter, it tells me what it thinks the word's supposed to be. But it's actually suing Google over the results because it is showing up as that this hotel is closed. So people are trying to plan their weddings and they're saying that the hotel is closed or being seized and assisted by the bank. Kind of goes along the lines when I search for Jenna Jameson photos and this is what I come up with. Okay, so that's not really what I come up with. This is actually it. Yeah, you thought I was actually going to show you a picture of Jenna Jameson naked, didn't you? This is YouTube. I get the shit pulled if I did something like that. I can swear all I want, but I cannot put nude photos on here. Fucking weird. Shockwaves. Some more kind of terrible news came out for the Nintendo Wii system today. At least Nintendo users that have been waiting to buy a Blu-ray player. The new Nintendo Wii actually does do a 25 gig disc, which is equivalent to Blu-ray. But guess what, kids? It will not play a Blu-ray movie. So the new Nintendo Wii system will not play a Blu-ray movie. In fact, the new system will not even play a DVD. It's proprietary software only, which is more of the reason why this system is probably going to suck. That and the fact that it's outdated already and it hasn't even hit the mark yet. One more reason why you should probably not buy this. Unless you're a huge fan of Big Mama's Cooking, because that is a huge seller on the current Wii system. Shockwaves. Duke Nukem Forever is not forever waiting anymore. Duke Nukem Forever actually came out this week and it fucking sucks, according to the ratings anyways. I haven't played it yet, but the ratings are absolutely terrible. You can't hold the king of me when it comes to video games in a cage for 15 years and expect him to shit gold. That is essentially what all these reviews have said. So I'm not going to play it unless somebody on here tells me that it's actually better than what all the reviews are saying, which happens to me occasionally on movies because everybody said that Striptease was a bad movie and look at what it did. Box office hit, all right? Leave down there in the comments section whether or not I should play this game or not. If I should, then maybe I will go play it. I'll check it out and maybe I'll talk about it again. I probably will. Come on, let's be honest here. I talk about all the things that I do in my life when it comes to games and technology. So leave your comments down there. Let me know if it's a good game or not. But usually the reviewers are right when it comes to video games, especially one that's been waiting this long and they've had what, six different production companies work on this thing in the last 15 years? Yeah, I can see it blowing donkey balls. Shockwaves. The last thing we're talking about today is the ridiculous hats that they're wearing over in England, and I'm not even going to point out the hats that they wore to the royal wedding. They're actually making iPad hats, hats that have the iPad on them, right up here on top of your head, where you can't even read them. So if you want your neighbors and friends to be able to read the news or play Angry Birds while you're walking around, this actually might be a good idea because they will be able to see what is going on in the hat that you cannot see at all or you could just stand in front of a mirror and play it in reverse. I don't know if this is a good way to tote technology, I suppose. Ladies here in the US, you might want to get yourselves an iPad hat. I'm not really sure. Maybe they could call it the maxi pad hat because it's maximizing itself up on your forehead. I have no fucking idea. This is just ridiculous, but I want to talk about it because it doesn't do the technology and it's something for you ladies if you're into the fashion stuff. Shockwaves. Anyways, that's all good for today. Batteries not included. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe to this channel and this video. Also, don't forget to share this video with your friends because you know sharing is caring, and that's what we do here. We care about each other. Batteries not included. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Your mom always does. I blew right through the news today, which made the show a little bit shorter. You're welcome. Duke Nukem forever! I don't fucking know what I'm talking about. Why do you even watch this show? I'm fucking ridiculous sometimes.